The Montreal Canadiens are moving on in the Stanley Cup playoffs after taking Game 7, defeating the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-1. David, our coverage here on the fourth period brought to you as always by BitBuy, Canada's number one cryptocurrency platform. I want to start with the Montreal Canadiens. Brendan Gallagher said before Game 7, this team very quietly always had a belief in their locker room, and that belief had to be because of their backbone, who they had in net and Carey Price. Yeah, Carey Price is the absolute backbone of this club. There's no question about that one. Uh, he made some very key saves in this game. There's no question about it. Now, the Leafs weren't as potent as they had been or as much of a, on the offensive as they normally had been throughout the course of the series, even in certain moments in Game 5 and 6. But for the most part, Irf, this was a series that was owned by the goaltending on both sides. And Carey Price led the charge for the Canadians from the goal out. They weren't as offensive as they typically had been, at least not off to a, a, a rapid start as they were in games five and six, but the Canadians were able to contain their play, contain their emotions, and keep the Leafs in check. And as we got to the third period up 2 nothing, it just seemed like the Leafs had nothing left and couldn't solve not only the goaltending, but Montreal's defensive structure. Yeah, absolutely. Philip Deneau doing an absolutely marvelous job about containing uh, Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. But I got to ask you about the Leafs, because really in this game, it didn't look like you know, something went wrong for the Leafs or anything, but not a lot went right. No, it, it, there, there wasn't enough jump from this team. And, and, you know, I mentioned this to a few people after we watched the press conferences, the pregame press conferences, or excuse me, the warm-up press conferences earlier on this morning in the pregame skate. And it looked like the emotion from Sheldon Keefe, like he seemed a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous, which you typically don't want to see necessarily in the head coach. And that can t t tend to translate throughout the rest of the room. So it looked like there was a little bit of nerves. And as the game progressed, you could see it on the faces of some of these players that they were starting to tighten themselves up a little bit and start to get a little bit worried as the minutes kept ticking on. And that had to have been something that was in the back of a lot of these guys' heads. And I understand it's, it's a very tough situation. There's so much pressure on this team, but they just couldn't find that next level to get to in this game. And as things progressed, the Canadians just chipped it out nice and slow and kept the Leafs from really penetrating their zone as they normally had uh, do on a consistent basis. It was a masterful job for Montreal, but from Toronto's perspective, I mean, there just wasn't that extra push that they needed to get them through this one. Yeah, I mean, the Leafs out of the playoffs, haven't won a playoff round since 2004, David. Now, there's going to be a lot of criticism. Obviously, it's definitely needed. There's going to be a lot of, you know, look of self-reflection and all that kind of stuff. What's next for this Toronto Maple Leafs team? Decompression. Uh, they, they need <laughs> to take a step back and, and really understand what has gone on with this club. Now, look, I get it. There's going to be a lot of panic. I can only imagine how the pregame, excuse me, the postgame show was on the radio in this market here in Toronto. It must have been, well, pretty entertaining. Let's put it that way. But look, the window for the Toronto Maple Leafs is wide open in terms of the, 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 the longevity to compete. Yes, they didn't get out of the first round again this year, but you look at the core in place, you look at how well Jack Campbell performed, this is a team that still has the pieces to compete for a, a, a chance at, at contending next season. You gotta fill in the right spots, they got a lot of holes they gotta fill, and that's up to management. But the window for the Leafs definitely is still open when you've got guys like Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner leading the charge. Yeah, you have to think there's some change coming there within the Toronto Maple Leafs somewhere, but for the Montreal Canadiens, they get the Winnipeg Jets in the, in the next round of the Stanley Cup playoffs.